have more piano or keyboard?
to my soul, God, wait for you, wait for you, and wait for you, oh, we wait. I see glory falling. 
for the healing of all diseases. And I sing praises, I sing praises, give you honor, worthy Jesus. We give you praise and all of the honor, you are our God, the one we live for. We give you praise and all of the glory, God. We give you praise and all of the honor.
give you praise and all of the honor you are our God, the one we live for. We give you praise, all of the glory, God. We give you praise. We give you praise and all of the honor you are our God, the one we live for. We give you praise, all of the glory. meditating from Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. We'll be meditating on this verse for about 10 minutes. I encourage you to close your eyes and hear the word of the Lord. Let his word go deep into your spirit. Chew on the word and digest it. Let its wisdom enter your spirit. Allow the word of God to cleanse you, to purify you, to breathe life into you. Let it renew your mind. Isaiah 43, verse 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. See, I am doing a new thing. springs up. Now it springs up. springs up. Do you not perceive it? Do you not perceive it? springs up. 
do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert. I am making a way in the desert. desert and streams in the wasteland and streams in the wasteland
of singing the word of God. So please join us in prayer and song. If you have your Bibles, you can open up to Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 to 21. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 to 21. Verse 18, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. Lord, you are a God who has called us out of our past into greater things. You have baptized us into new life, and you have said to forget the former things. You have said to lay it down and forget it. You are a God who has called us to set our minds on things above and to not dwell on the past. You do not want our minds in the pit. You do not want our thoughts on the past in regret or in the past trying to do the same thing we did before. You are a God who takes us from glory to glory and you pour out new wine. You've called us to move when you move. It is your delight to do something new in our lives, but we must first forget the former things and lay down the past. So Lord, help us to take our thoughts captive to you and to receive your word for today. Let us not live on yesterday's manna that rots today. Let us live by your fresh and new word that gives us breath and life for today. We lay down our past ways. We lay down our old thoughts. We lay down the past and declare that we're going to live in your presence and by your word for today. Remember not the former things. Oh. Remember not the former things. I said before me the new things you have for me, God. And I'm laying them all behind to hold on to what's in front of me. I lay it all behind. And I look forward to you, unto you I hold, unto you I hold, unto you I hold, hold. Jesus, unto To you, I hold. 
Isaiah 43, verse 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Yes, Lord, you are doing a new thing. It is springing up all around us. We want to perceive it. You are making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Your fresh wine is being poured out in our lives and in our church body. You are doing new things all around us and in us. We want to be aware of what you are doing and to join in on the movement. We don't want to be sleeping or dwelling on the past. We want to move forward with what you are doing. Take us out of our own thoughts and let us join your thoughts that are moving with speed and clarity, wisdom and revelation. Let the springs come forth in us and around us. Let us be swept away with the living water that you are bursting forth from the depths of your wisdom in this hour. You are washing away foolishness and making the wasteland a lush valley filled with your riches. You are washing away our sin and washing away the dead places in our hearts. You are bringing living water to the desert places of our soul and birthing life in us. Yes, you are doing a new thing. We want to perceive it, Lord. Awaken us to what you're doing in this hour.
I won't be afraid that you will not abandon me. Oh God, you are doing a new thing. You are the leader of it. You are a good shepherd. You are my father leading me. You never leave me. You will guide me through. You guide me through the valley of the shadow of death. Oh God, break me out of all familiarity. Everything that I hold on to, God, I give to you. Yeah. Oh, God, I give to you. Oh, I open up my heart so you can make a way. I open up my eyes so you can show. Can 
God, we thank you that you know our hearts, Lord, and that you are the only one that can open up our hearts. So God, we do ask that you would open up our hearts and make a way, that you would open up our eyes and show us the way. We thank you, Lord, that you are so gentle with us, that you don't pry our hearts open. But God, we can trust you. We can trust you with our hearts. That we don't have to keep walls up and guard our own hearts, but Lord, that we can trust you with our hearts. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you're doing a new thing. And we just want to see you and we want to follow you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Where is 
we thank you that there is no one like you, that you are above all. And yet you still desire to be with us. That you long to be with us. And we can feel that love tonight, Lord. That you just love your people. 
and we thank you for your presence here, Lord. We're going to continue singing through the word. So if you have your Bibles, you can open back up to Isaiah 43, verses 19 to 21. Isaiah 43, 19 to 21. Isaiah 43, verse 20. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the desert and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen. Lord, even the animals honor you, the jackals and the owls. They honor you because you provide for them. How much more do you provide for your people, your chosen ones? You are a loving Father who is concerned for our well-being. You always, always provide for us. And you are always making streams rush through the wasteland. Lord, help us to relinquish control. Help us to trust you. You are a Father who provides for every single need of ours. Open our hearts to your goodness. Let us see how good you are and trust in your willingness to provide for us. We want to honor you in the deepest places of our hearts. We want, we want to be the ones who bless your name and speak with confidence and love because we know your character and trust you deeply to the deepest part of our core being. We want to be ones who display honor because you are worthy of all honor and of all praise.
Isaiah 43, verse 21. The people I formed for myself, that they may proclaim my praise. Lord, you have formed us for your own pleasure. You have created us in your own image and desire fellowship with us. That is such an inconceivable thing to believe at times. But help us to believe it and know without a doubt that you want to be with us. You are a relational God who loves to be with your people, who loves your children. Let it be from the depth of your love that we proclaim your praises, from a place of fully receiving and understanding just how deep and wide your love is for us. That's the place we want to be, and that's the place we want to stay completely submerged in your rich love. You have created us for your pleasure and you desire to be with us. Yes, it's true. We were made to be in your love. Let us stay close to you that we may proclaim your praises all the days of our lives.
ourselves tonight, Lord. I was made for you, for this divine purpose, God. because of you, Lord. We thank you that you are a good daddy. We love you, Lord. a light drawing near that will displace all your fears brilliant as the sun he won't delay perfect love is on its way there's a light there's a light Trying near that will displace all your fears. Brilliant as the sun, he won't delay. A perfect love is on its way. Do anything, oh my. 
right now we're going to go into a time of intercession. Tonight we'll be praying for North Korea, specifically for reunification of North and South Korea. This is something that we've been contending for for several years now. We want to stand in a place of authority and government. And I can't get over the Father's heart for this nation. We're going to be praying for some practical things tonight, but let's not lose the heart of the Father. Because He is a jealous Father. He is a jealous lover. And He is relentless for this land and for these people. So let's stand in that place where we know the Father loves us and we know the Father loves these people. And let's contend on their behalf tonight. Lord, you're doing new things all around us and we cannot deny that you are doing new things in Korea as well. You are stirring up a momentum that cannot be stopped here in Korea. You are preparing this land for reunification. You are sovereign and nothing can stop you. Nothing can thwart your plan. So let us be ready. Let the church be ready for what you are about to do. Lord, we want to join in on what you are doing. We want to partner with you. We do not want to be found asleep and slumbering. No. We want to be watchmen on the wall who are alert and active. Stir up the hearts of North Koreans. Stir up the hearts of South Koreans. Stir up the hearts of foreigners. Let them be awakened to your heart for reunification. We break off all apathy and futility in the name of Jesus. And we declare that hearts will no longer be hardened to what is happening in North Korea, but that hearts will hunger and long for restoration and reunification. Lord, we declare that you are softening hearts and putting your fire in the hearts of your people, that they may burn for the things that your heart burns for, that you are a father who is jealous. You are causing hope to rise up. You're causing faith and expectation to arise in your people. You're bringing forth great hunger and hope. Lord, your people will no longer sit in apathy and futility but they will join in on what you are doing. Give them dreams and visions for reunification. We prophesy that your people in North Korea, in South Korea, and the foreigners will unite as one force who will take the kingdom by force in the spirit. They will not relent because you will not relent. They will persist in prayer and petition. They will be united as one force crying out for the restoration of this land and people. Lord, you are building momentum that cannot be stopped and you are gathering an army that will not relent until your will is done. So let us pray.
the God of light. Nothing is hidden from you. You see everything, every thought, every action, even the intentions of the heart. You are the unavoidable God. Lord, we know that you see the wickedness that is happening in North Korea, and we know that your heart is grieved over the evil that is being done. Your hand of salvation is reaching out to North Korea, and you are orchestrating the redemption of this land. We want to partner with what you are doing and declare that this wickedness is not tolerable. You are exposing the wickedness with your light. You are bringing a greater awareness worldwide, an awareness that will cause nations to speak up and hold North Korea accountable for the inhumane treatment. Lord, use the media to expose the corruption and evil in North Korea. We declare that more news articles and news channels, as well as blogs and magazines and social media will spread awareness. We declare that as awareness rises in South Korea and around the world, that people will be stirred to move and take action. We disallow this to just be another human rights issue, but we call forth the body of Christ to take Take their position and seek the face of God in order that they may do what you tell them to do. Lord, we know that it is a spiritual matter that requires prayer and petition, discernment and wisdom. So we call forth the intercessors as awareness goes out. Let them rise up and contend on behalf of this nation. The darkness cannot overcome the light of the Lord. So we declare that the light of Jesus is going to shine in North Korea and cause evil to be purged from the land. We prophesy that as God's people People rise up and pray. The nations and their governments are going to intervene on behalf of North Korea, that they will hold North Korea accountable for its actions. The governments will step in and bring down this evil regime by your power. It cannot stand. It cannot overcome the light. The light is going forth in the land of North Korea. Jesus will reign. His light will cause all darkness to flee. Lord, let your light shine in North Korea. Let's pray.
Spread the gospel through your people in North Korea. Lord, you have positioned your people in places of influence within churches, governments, and organizations. You have put them there 
for such a time as this. And you are going to use them in a mighty way. You are using them in a mighty way. We pray protection over these people right now, God. We declare that nothing can touch them. They are untouchable. We declare that you are speaking hidden, hidden wisdom to them in the secret place. That they are going to have dreams and visions, oh God. That you're going to give them the blueprint for the inroads to North Korea. God, that they are going to be the ones who will obey your Holy Spirit and only speak when you say to speak. They will move only when you say to move. They will be silent when you say to be silent. They will not speak any word beyond what you've asked of them. They will be faithful sons who know the Father and walk closely with you. They will walk with you in obedience and through their faithfulness, God, you will move in mighty ways. You will open up doors, God. You're going to open up doors and bring about change. And so, God, we just declare right now that you are using your people. And so we pray for them right now, God. God who has a mighty hand that saves. We call upon you right now, tonight, and ask that you would sweep across North Korea and bring forth the harvest. Let salvation spring up across North Korea. We declare that men and women and children are going to come into the saving grace of Jesus Christ. We pray specifically for the government officials tonight. And we declare that you are opening their eyes and causing the scales to fall from their eyes. You are awakening the spirit man of men and women right now and drawing them into the truth. Lord, bring deliverance from their wicked ways and call them into the light. Let the prison guards, the prison guards encounter you and have a Saul to Paul conversion. Cause conviction to rise up in their hearts, oh God. Bring salvation to the work camps. Cause entire camps to come to Christ. We prophesy that they would become places of worship and freedom rather than slavery and torture. Break off the chains and bondage, oh God. Deliver your people in the villages, in the cities. Let salvation spring up. God, let we call upon your name. Let them call upon your name and proclaim you as the Lord, renouncing the idolatry of Kim Jong-un. Lord, you are bringing salvation, and you are going to bring redemption to the people. We break off this, the yoke of idolatry. 
You not only care for their freedom, God, but you also care for the restoration of their souls. You care about their healing and about their full redemption. You're a God who is committed to redeeming your people. We prophesy that you're going to repay the people for the years that the locusts have eaten. You are going to bring freedom to the people and redeem them. All the years that Satan has taken them captive, oh God, you're going to pay holy recompense for the wickedness that's been done to them. You're going to prosper the land. You're going to prosper the people when you bring freedom and reunification. You're not going to just leave them in their spiritual bondage and emotional pain, God. You're going to walk them through healing and restoration we prophesy right now that you're going to fully redeem the people in North Korea have your way have your way let nothing stop you reunification is coming we declare it we declare it the redemption and restoration is coming
salvation belongs to the Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. God, we thank you that salvation truly does belong to you and you alone. We thank you that you are a jealous father and a jealous lover who will stop at nothing to save your people, to redeem your people, to restore your people, to repay them for the years that the locusts have eaten. That you are a good father. Lord, that you have divine plans and strategies that you are downloading to your people even tonight as we've prayed. We believe that in faith. God, we believe in faith, God, that that guards, prison guards have come to know you tonight. That government officials have come to know you tonight, oh God. Lord, we know without a doubt that this regime will not stand because it is not built on the love and principles of your kingdom. God, we know it's a matter of time and that the momentum is building. And we are a part of it, God, and we are declaring that more people are becoming a part of this movement, that you're preparing people's hearts to join in on what you're doing. Yeah, God, we are not asleep. We do not want to be asleep, Lord. You have awakened us, and you have awakened people around the world tonight as we've prayed. We thank you for what you're doing, God. We thank you that we can believe and trust in who you are, in your unwavering character. And know that we can move when you move, God. And you are moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. There's nothing impossible for you, for we all have been formed for your glory, for yourself, God. Um, Lord, we thank you that you've come here tonight, Father, and you've revealed your heart to us. You've opened up your heart, and you've poured out your heart. You've poured out your love here in this place, God. And as recipients of that, Father, we are honored. We are honored. So we return that honor to you, Father, and we say, God, have your way in us. Have your way in this nation. Lord, we want reunification. God, we confess to you that's what we want, God. We want it. We yearn for it, Father. So, Lord, continue to align our hearts with yours and make us ready. Make us ready. Holy Spirit, help us and teach us to be ready. We need you, Lord. We love you, God. In all these things, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, Yeah, uh, continue to lift up um, North Korea in your prayers. God is on the move. Yeah, he's really on the move. And I think as believers, we can help but to say, yes, reunification is really coming very soon. So uh, I hope that all of us really carry that hope in our hearts uh, as we go on, a, on a bar, about our day. And yeah, bless you. Uh, be safe as you go home. And uh, yeah, see you next week. Uh, just reminding you once again that there is another watch tomorrow morning at 9.30 here. If you can make it, come and we'll see each other again. Good night, everyone.